Hi guys, Simon from Urban Plumbers here and in this video I'll show you 7 steps for perfect solder joints. There's also a bonus trick by the end of this video, so remember to stick till the end. Let's get into it. Step number 1 is to use self-cleaning flux. That way you don't have to clean any new pipe work or fittings and it will not leave any additional scratch marks on the pipe work, making it look much neater. Step 2. Flux application. Apply flux to male parts only, and only in a thin layer. You don't want too much flux on your fittings, as it will go all over the place once you heat it up, making your solder joint look really messy. Less is more in this case. Step 3. Wipe off any excess flux before you start heating the pipe work up, and once you start heating it up and you see any excess flux runs, wipe that flux off as well. You see, the solder will always follow two things, flux and heat. So if you have any flux running on your pipe work, you can be sure that solder will follow that path. Remove that flux before it happens. Trick of removing flux while you heat the pipe work up is especially important for neat soldering on vertical joints. Step number 4. Control the flame. For this, make sure that you use a blowtorch with adjustable flame output, such as Rothenberg Superfire 2 or Jet Flame from Nerat Tools. The slower you heat the pipe work up, the more control you'll have over solder and the neater the joint will look. Also, using propane helps with more control as it burns cooler to map gas. Tip number 4 therefore is, use propane gas with a low flame. If you set your flame too high, it can oxidize copper, which not only looks bad, but it also increases chances of leaks. Step number 5. You want to start heating the pipe work up from a lower to a higher point. Also, since solder will follow heat, you want to feed solder from the opposite direction to the flame. The best way for super neat joints is to heat the pipe work up from the front and feed the solder from the back. That way, even if you do get a drip, it will not be immediately visible. Step number 6. Vertical joint trick. Due to the gravity, flux and solder will naturally flow down. The trick on vertical joints is not to fit solder to the bottom connection. If you hit the fitting from the bottom up and fit solder from the top connection first, it will naturally find its way to the bottom connection with gravity and heat. This usually makes for a very neat solder joint that is almost invisible. Step 7. Cleaning. Wait for the pipework to cool down for about 30 seconds or so, but do not let it get cold. The hotter the pipework, the easier it is to clean. You may use small amount of additional flux to clean the pipework externally, but I'm not a big fan of it. I usually use a damp cloth and it does the job just fine. Extra tip here is to use a clean and dry cloth at the later stage, as it makes the pipework shine even more. I wouldn't recommend using wire wool or sanding paper in an attempt to clean up your pipework. It hardly ever makes it look better. Instead, give it a little bit of practice and you will get there. Have you enjoyed this tutorial? I really hope so. But wait, there is a super trick that I want to share with you. You see, we all have been struggling with support when soldering vertical pieces, haven't we? Some even came up with tools to overcome that problem. But why invent tools when you can use a tool you already have in your toolbox? Before you insert the fitting, squeeze it gently with your pump grips to make it a little bit tighter. Do not go crazy, as you don't want to weaken the fitting, but at the same time you want it to be able to hold the pipe work while you solder. Let's see if I can get a neat soldering on this joint. Hey, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, and let me know in the comment section if you have any other of your own tricks and tips, or if you have any questions. Hey, look at that, another neat joint. See you soon guys, cheers!